again, Sean Little with Vapor Trail Tactical. Um, so one of the things that I've heard about getting thermals is the expense of getting targets that you can use. Um, people do different things, but um, IR targets makes uh, thermal targets. And they're a little bit expensive, but they're they're worth it. The uh, the way that they uh, reflect and everything is really nice. And so I'm going to show you a little trick that I do to make them reusable. They still work, and uh, it doesn't look pretty, but it still works, and you can't really tell once you put it on thermal. So let's take a look at what I do. All right, so I've used this target for, uh, you know, zeroing purposes. Uh, so I started here, uh, moved up here, made some uh, adjustments, and then make them make over adjusted back down to here and then went up coming back up and uh, hitting my point of impact. So, but what I've done is I've taken this target and I just patched it up. I use whatever tape I can. Uh, on the center, I typically use uh, silver electrical tape and, uh, and then on everything else, I just use masking tape. Um, yeah, it doesn't look that pretty, but when you look at it under thermal, you can't really tell, so I'll show you what that looks like next. Okay, so through the viewfinder, you can see the thermal target. And the only thing you can really see on it is the actual target itself. And you can see where I did the little uh, patch. Um, so I had a couple of impacts in the middle there. I put a um, duct tape patch over it, and you can see that. Uh, but other than that, it still looks like a very viable target. And once you've paste, pasted over everything, you can still use it. So as long as you're hitting a piece of paper, you should be able to tell where you're at and make adjustments from there. So it's still a usable target. Just patch it up and use it again. Um, I'm sure there's a point where it becomes where you can't use it, but right now it's very usable and not an issue. All right, so I got this other target that I've shot up quite a bit. Um, we're going to put this one up there. I've got impacts here and here. I've duct taped a bunch of stuff over here and uh, made... I had to make a bunch of windage adjustments once I kept overcompensating and moving the uh, thermal site too much um, and then got back to where I wanted to be. So um, we'll put this up and see what this one looks like. All right, so the different shades there, you can still see that it's uh, still a viable target. Even scrolling through the uh, different templates. Now where I put the duct tape patches, you can see those, but um, they're still, it's still a good target and you can still use this. And this is only about 10 yards away from me. I'm in my house. I just got it taped to the door frame and you can tell that it is still a good target to use. All right guys, so hopefully that helps with thermal targets. Uh, if you purchase from IR, IR tools, uh, these are great targets. I really like them. Um, I don't have a 640 core uh, thermal. It's the uh, whatever, 320 or whatever it is. Um, so with the bigger patch, so the bigger uh, triangle, diamond, whatever that is. So the bigger patch, right? I can see that really well at 100 yards. Um, and it's a great target. It works really well. And then I can patch it. I mean, even though I've shot it up pretty good, I can patch it. And it's still a good and viable target. So. All right, so this is my setup. I've got my AccuFire and Cindus thermal, and I've got it mounted on the tripod in my SSP-1 cradle from Precision Rifle Solutions. So um, that's how I filmed this. Uh, great little setup, great cradle, great thermal. All right, so pick up your thermal targets at IR Tools. Until next time, keep it point of aim, point of impact.